In this mini-clip, we'll be discussing the applications of piecewise functions. While we answer this question together, you'll be solving the similar problem on your own using the same technique. Now, in your question, I just changed the scenario. You are asked to answer Part A and Part B for your scenario. Our question reads, in a certain country, income tax is assessed as follows. There is no tax on income up to $15,000. Income over $15,000 and up to $30,000 is taxed at 12%. Income over $30,000 is taxed at 18%. We are first asked to write the piecewise function of the above information and to sketch its graph. Secondly, we need to determine how much tax is to be paid on an income of $17,000. Before we begin answering this question, let's just highlight the key points. We have no tax on an income up to $15,000. Now, income over $15,000 and up to $30,000 is taxed at 12%. Income that is over $30,000 is taxed at 18%. So we're going to use this information to write our piecewise function. So let's begin answering Part A. Let's call our piecewise function f of x. Now, x will, will represent our income, and f of x will represent the amount of tax. So, we know when our income is up to 15,000, we have no tax. So our f of x is equal to 0, because there's no tax, but we need to find our interval for x. Well, we're up to $15,000, which means that x can be less than or equal to, it's important to include the equal to, 15,000. Now let's take a look at our second interval. We have income between 15,000 and 30,000, and this is taxed at 12%. So we know our f of x is equal to 0 0.12, writing our percent as a decimal. Now we know for our interval, we are over 15,000, which means we have 15,000 less than x, not equal to, because it's only over 15,000. And we have up to 30,000, which means that x must be less than or equal to 30,000. Now we have our last interval. When our income is over 30,000, it's taxed at 18%. So we know our f of x is equal to 0, decimal 1.8, this is 18% of tax, written as a decimal, and we know our variable is over 30,000. Or in other words, x is greater than 30,000. Here we have our piecewise function. I would now like you to write the piecewise function for your question. Here is your piecewise function. Now we're asked to sketch the graph of f of x. So I'm going to begin by just writing out our x and f of x axes. So along our x axis, we have our income, 15,000 and 30,000. Whereas along our f of x axis, we have our tax percentage but written as decimals. 
So looking at our first interval, we know that f of x is equal to 0 when x is less than or equal to 15,000. So here we have x is equal to 15,000, and we know that we need anything less than this number, so between 0 and 15,000. And we know that our f of x value is equal to 0. So our first interval will occur along this line as so. These closed circles indicate that our x can equal 15,000 as well as 0. Moving along to our second interval, we have x is between 15,000, but not including this number, and 30,000, but it can equal 30,000. So along our x-axis, this interval is found between 15,000 but anything greater than this number, or anything less than or equal to 30,000 between here. However, our f of x is equal to 0 decimal 1, 2, which is up here. So because our x value cannot equal 15,000, we need to draw an open circle to indicate this. And now we're going to draw a line up to and including our x value of 30,000. Once again, this closed circle indicates that our x value can equal 30,000. Now we have our last interval, when x is greater than 30,000, so anything greater than this number. And our y value, or our f of x value, is equal to 0 0.18. 0 0.18 is found between 0 0.16 and 0 0.2, so halfway in between. So we know it cannot equal our x value of 30,000, so we need to indicate this with an open circle. And our interval will carry on in this direction. Here we have our sketch of our piecewise function. I would now like you to draw the graph for your question. And here's how your graph should look like. Now let's move on to part B. We have to determine how much tax is to be paid on an income of $17,000. Well, because I ran out of room, I'm just going to erase these graphs, and I will leave our piecewise functions. So we have part B. Because we have an income of $17,000, this means that we will be in the tax bracket of 12%, because $17,000 falls in between $15,000 and $30,000 or we can look at our piecewise function. 17,000 falls in between this interval, so it will be taxed at 12%. However, income up to and including 15,000 is not taxed. This means that 15,000 of the $17,000 is not taxed. Only the remaining portion will be taxed. So, we have $17,000 of income, but we know that $15,000 of it will not be taxed. So we need to subtract $15,000 from this. And this will give us the re remaining amount that will be taxed at 12%. So 17000 minus 15000 leaves us with 2,000. So this is the only amount that will be taxed at 12%. And once again, it's being taxed at 12% because our income is $17,000, which falls between this interval, 15,000 and 30,000. Now, to determine how much is taxed on this amount, we will have $2,000, and we need to multiply this by our percentage as a decimal, which is 0 0.12. So 
So I'm going to put this in brackets to indicate we're multiplying by 0 0.12. This will give us the amount of tax that we need to pay. Well, 2,000 times 0 0.12 will give us $240. So all we need to do now is to write our concluding statement. Therefore, $240 of tax must be paid on an income of $17,000. I would now like you to answer Part B for your question. In your question, you should have to pay $500 of tax. 